Okay, so a while ago I came across this intro for the MKBHD Mac Studio review. It looks really cool and different and that's because they shot that intro with a robot holding the camera. But do you have a super expensive camera robot arm laying around? Yeah, I mean me neither. So that got me thinking. Is it possible to do a similar shot, or at least something that looks just as cool, without a robot? Maybe with a gimbal instead? But then, you know, I kind of forgot about it because I was too busy working on other videos. But now, a week ago, Jiyun all of a sudden sent me an email. And what they said basically was, we want you to try out the new Weeble 3 gimbal and the 5 array light and create something cool. Anything. And I was like, damn, that robot shot. Let's just give it a try. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create my own Mac Studio intro, or maybe even a commercial, MKBHD style. Or let's say MKBHD meets Apple meets Yoris, my own style. Because, you know, I don't want to just copy Marquez's intro. I'm talking way too much already, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You wanna see the good stuff. So let's get started. This is my setup, and this is super important for my sequence, for my video, because I don't know if you're familiar with MKBHD's videos or his product b-rolls. He always makes it feel minimalistic, but not super minimalistic, not cold and empty. He always adds some objects to make it feel more alive. And so I tried to do the same. We have the Mac Studio, monitor, keyboard, mouse. Over there I put a camera lens and over here I'm gonna put this audio recorder because I don't know, it looks kind of techy and cool. And now you also get a sense of who the Mac Studio is for. You know, creative people. Oh, and over there, of course, the 5-Array light. And the 5-Array actually serves two functions here. First of all, it looks really nice, almost like a desk lamp, so I wanted it to be in the frame. It's also an RGB light, so I can set it to any color I want. Right now it's set to white light, 2700 Kelvin, so warm light. But what it also does, look, I want the scene to look cinematic. Can I still use that word? Yeah, right? And an easy way to make a scene look cinematic is by backlighting your subject. So that's what the 5 Array also does. It backlights the subject, the Mac Studio. And then the rest of the lighting setup is nothing too crazy actually. The key light is right there, it's lighting the whole scene. But remember, I want backlight, so the key light can't be too strong because then it will just blow away the backlight. And then over there I put a blue light. Now, I wasn't sure at first, but I think it looks nice. It adds some contrast to the warm light here. But what it also does, you know, it mimics the computer screen light. It mimics the blue light coming from a computer screen. So now it looks more like the whole scene is bathing in that blue computer screen light. And that's it. The first shot, the opening shot, it's the one inspired by MKBHD's robot shot, but mine is gonna look a little bit different. What I wanna do is dolly out first, pause a moment, then dolly in and crane up at the same time. Also at the same time, tilt the camera down until I'm here and then pause a moment again and drop down as if we're diving into the Mac Studio. Wow, now that I'm explaining it, ugh, it's not gonna be easy, but you know, it doesn't matter. The reason why I'm using a gimbal, by the way, is because I wanna get some of that mechanical movement, that mechanical precision that a robot gives you. And I know it's not gonna look exactly the same, not exactly as precise as a robot, but 
I hope it's gonna look better than if I would shoot it handheld for example. And to make it easier, because I don't want any roll or pan movement, I set the control speeds of the pan and roll movement in the settings of the gimbal to zero. So now, no matter what I do with the little joystick, it's only gonna tilt down, because it's a super sensitive joystick. Just like mine. Anyway, let's just give it a try. Wow. Dolly out. Pause a moment. Up. Ah. Mm, yeah, and then down. Okay, no problem. It's definitely possible. The only thing is, it's gonna be difficult. I'll have to try this a million times until I get the, the timing exactly right. So let's do that a million times. My gimbal is in lock mode, by the way. So, out, pause. That was, that was pretty good. Okay, I did it a million times. I think I have a good one, so let's move on to the next shot now. Maybe first let's do two easy shots before we get to a more difficult one again. And the first one is the hero shot that I will use at the end of the video. It's a simple shot, kind of a sideways dolly in and I'm gonna use focus tracking on my camera so that the Mac Studio is in focus during the whole shot. Let's do it. Okay, and then the next shot, also a simple one, a uh, vortex. So from up here, vortex down very slowly, and that's it. I'm gonna do it manually, I'm not gonna use vortex mode on my gimbal, so I'm gonna use the joystick again. So, manual focus, I will set the focus here where I'm gonna end the shot. And then, let's go. This next shot might be a tricky one again. I moved everything out of the way because I need to film the back of the Mac Studio and the idea is, well, in the beginning we dove into the Mac Studio and now I want it to look like we're jumping out. But I want to film it manual focus, so I think it's gonna be too difficult if I start here and then jump out. It's gonna be too difficult to get the ports in focus. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse the shot. I'm gonna start here, set the focus manually on the ports and then again like in the beginning I'm gonna jump in and then if I reverse the shot in post it's gonna look like we're jumping out. Yeah. So manual focus on the ports, 24 millimeters this time, okay and go, dolly in, jump, ah, fuck. I need to get rid of the tripod here. Let's try it again. Ah, oh, okay. That wasn't too bad. It's gonna be easier than the opening shot. So let's do this a hundred times. And for the last shot that I need, I put the Mac Studio on the 5 array light because I want to film those cool fan intakes at the bottom. And this way, I don't know, it looks kind of spacey, techy. I like it, it's cool. And I put the 5 array at the lowest setting. I also moved the blue light a little bit because the Mac Studio is not in the same spot anymore now. And I'm gonna shoot this one handheld because I think it's gonna be easier than with the gimbal. And that's it, now it's editing time. And as you know, a lot of the magic happens in the editing process. Speed ramps, sound effects, music.
I really hope that you like the end result. Let me know in the comments and see you in the next one. Bye.